Okay guys, so I'm going to do a little Guerlain video um, about my Guerlain collection. I'm so in love with Guerlain products. I love the way they smell. Um, most of the time the packaging is pretty heavy and luxurious. But sometimes, as you'll see with the spring 2013 meteorites, the packaging is cardboard. Um, I'm not sure why they went that way. I'm not sure if they'll go that way again, but I prefer the metal packaging um so i'm going to start off with my eyeshadows here and this right here is an older quad this is rose boys it's number 460 and this is the older packaging of the quads and this is the newer packaging and to be honest with you i prefer the newer one because i mean this is shiny it's pretty and stuff but and the one's just, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's more pleasing to my eye, so. Unless you have this, and that's way more pleasing to my eye, because it's just a butterfly. But, so I'm going to get this open somehow. And I'm going to show you just how gorgeous this quad is. So you have, you have a darker pink, you have a lighter shimmery pink, and then you have a... A cool toned brown on the bottom left, and then you have a rich, um, a rich brown on the right that has a little bit of red to it, and it's really gorgeous. This quad is very pigmented. It's it's just so beautiful. It lasts all day on my lids, and does not have a smell to it. Uh, one of the few girl on products that doesn't have a smell to it are the eye quads, but. I love that smell. I want the Meteorites perfume, but he stopped making it. And I don't really trust eBay that much, so maybe one day I'll get lucky and get that, but it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous perfume. And this is limited edition. This is um I believe 2010 collection Mysterious Butterfly number 403. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. It's like a purpley color and it's got the little butterfly motif on the front. And I love how Guerlain kind of inscribes her name right there on the front of the quads. It's so beautiful. And this is actually a collector's item for me. I don't use it. I just, I bought it because I want to look at it. It's just gorgeous. Not quite sure how pigmented it is or anything. Because, like I said, I'm not going to use it, but it's a beautiful, it's got this beautiful butterfly design on it. I bet it's a gorgeous quad if you wore it, but I'm just not going to do it. And I love how the little, the little applicators are clear. And they're in scribble girl lawn on them. It's really, really pretty. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous quad. I really wanted the whole mysterious um, butterfly collection. But uh, that was limited edition, and it's been so long that it's really hard to find anything from that collection to be able to buy it. So, But I was lucky enough to get this, and it's really, really beautiful. And now we're going to go with the newer quad, and this is Le Pearl number 08. So shimmery, so gorgeous. Um, definitely my colors are more pastel very spring-like very very shimmery shimmery colors and all four of these colors are very shimmery so you would have to um, if you want a matte color you would have to pull out another palette and pop that in the crease and you're good to go so it's very beautiful I didn't really notice much of a difference between the uh, older quad and the new one. As far as pigmentation, they're both very pigmented. And they're really, really beautiful eyeshadows. Guerlain just, they didn't really mess with the quality that much, in my opinion. Um, when they changed the quads, the looks of the quads. So, that was awesome. And now I've got, this is a blush palette. Actually, just a blush. This is limited edition. Madame Rougie, uh, four color blush. Well, I guess you can consider it a blush palette because it is four co different colors of blush. Look how gorgeous that is. Now, it used to have the little white, the little, um, 
the little dots there used to be white but I kind of rubbed them off when I used it so <laughs> it's really really pretty it's a beautiful blush this is also limited edition Guerlain is definitely one of the beauty brands um, as far as I'm concerned uh, with buying limited edition products from them because the, their limited edition products are just so gorgeous most of the time they're so beautiful um, actually in the mail the winter meteorites that came out this last year with the beautiful um, white snow globe looking with the snowflakes in it that's coming in the mail so I'll definitely show you that when it gets here and I can't wait they're so beautiful it's got little stars in it but this is gorgeous it smells like it smells like the balls like the uh, meteorites yes I call them balls <laughs> because I'm just so mature but it smells so good it smells like violets really really beautiful and I love this compact I love it it's just sleek and it looks really good in your makeup collection so and now I'm going to pull these out. You're probably familiar with this. These are the press meteorites. And mine are in number two, Claire. Beautiful, beautiful compact. I just, I can't say that enough about Guerlain that their compacts and their packaging is just, it's so elegant and just so beautiful. Uh, you could just like look at it all day. And that is the powder. It looks very shimmery, but it's actually not shimmery on the skin. It's a nice setting powder. You could just throw this in your bag and use this as a setting powder. Bring your little brush with you and you're good to go. It's a nice, nice setting powder. And I was actually carrying that. And then I bought the Chanel powder and now this stays in my makeup collection. And it's, it's gorgeous. You can slightly leave that on your vanity and look at it. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you about the this um, Meteorites Pearls Light Diffusing Perfecting Primer. Um, like I said in a past video, I use it very sparingly and they have new packaging now. But this smells so good. It smells like the Meteorites. Too. I love that smell. I want every. I want the perfume. I really, really want the perfume so bad. Okay, but um, these are light liquid form meteorites. I just, it, it's so, it's neat how they did that. It's really cool. And the, the pearls, when you put them on your skin and you wear a foundation on it, it gives you a beautiful lit within glow. It's just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And I have one lip gloss by Guerlain. I was going to get more and then my Sephora stopped selling it. Stop selling Guerlain, so I really haven't been, you know, looking at it lately unless I'm online or something. And be, buying stuff online is a little, a little iffy. But this lip gloss is really pretty. This is um, one of the older Kiss Kiss glosses, and this is number 867. Oh, it's so blurry. And they don't make this anymore, but it's a beautiful, beautiful shimmery pink color. It's really, really pretty. And then you have the Guerlain inscription on the front there. You have the Guerlain logo on the top. Just a beautiful, beautiful packaging. Guerlain just knocks out of the part where they're packaging, guys. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the meteorites. So these are the spring meteorites from 2013. It's got this little poof that came with it and the cardboard packaging looks really cheap it just it does it's it doesn't bother me that much because you know it's not falling apart or anything because that would really bother me <laughs> but you know the packaging is really cheap you know you have you have this which is weighty it's it's weighty it feels luxurious and then you have this and it's like what the heck girl what did you do but the balls are pretty you have, um, and I love how the, like, the dust is in there, that, the dust on the side. goes to show you what quality you're getting with the meteorites. Because some meteorites don't really have that much of a, um, 
of a payoff when you put your brush in it. And these are shimmery, really, really shimmery. I love the shimmer. It's so pretty. I love the color of these meteorites. Um, you have a light violet color, a peachy color, um, an ivory color, and um, more plummy color. And they're so gorgeous. And then that really shimmery one right there at the bottom. See it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And actually, I'm actually wearing these today, and there's a little bit of shimmer to it, but if you don't overdo it, it just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful powder. Beautiful, beautiful finishing powder. And then this is the older packaging of the um, regular meteorites the, in a regular line. The, um, what I'm trying to say, the permanent line. And this is Tint Beige 02. And you have that little, the little sponge right there. They're pretty. They're very pretty. They are. But they're, you, you notice how there was dust in the other one? There's no dust on the side. So you get very little payoff on this. What I do is I take, I take the top and I close it and I shake it up. And then I take the top off. And there's usually residue right under the lid. And I take my brush and I brush the lid off and then put it on my face. That's how I have to use these. Because they are so, I, I guess you could say densely packed or something. There, there's just no kick up. Well, probably a little bit, but not much. I heard that the newer meteorites, the newer uh, permanent line of meteorites are, um, are better. And they're more shimmery. But I don't have those, so I can't really judge that. This is... I do like these. I do. I just like the limited edition ones better. Um, this is Tint Rose 01. And the color of these is way more my thing. Pastels. You have your greens and your pinks and your lilac color and your beautiful shimmery um, ivory color. Very, very pretty. Still no dust on the side. Well, a little bit. The camera is really not picking it up, but really, really rub these babies. This one's definitely giving some more color, um, more payoff. But it's gorgeous. It's very, very shimmery. But you don't really see the shimmer on your face when you apply, so beautiful beautiful products. I love meteorites. I'm surprised I don't have more guys. I'm really really surprised. Okay these not a huge fan of these meteorites right here. I still have them. I'm not sure why I keep them but uh, I don't hate them. It's just not really my colors. Um, this is the Pearls Du Jour. Uh, with girl on teamed up with Amelia Pucci. And, of course, you have, like, the old packaging here. And why would you put blue balls in there? I mean, <laughs> I don't know, but just not my thing. I'm probably going to take the blue ones out and just leave the rest in and then probably use it more. But I guess it would be good for color correcting. It's really, they are beautiful. These are beautiful, um, beautiful meteorites. And there's a little bit of dust on them side there but they're just like the uh, the regular ones very pretty I'll, just, I'll probably just take the blue balls out and start using it like my little um, my little loose powder maybe when I'll run out of the Laura Mercier powder I'm using right now the loose powder that I use in the morning and I have a perfume that I picked up today. Look at that bottle. Isn't that gorgeous? And it has a little bee on top. Focus, baby, focus. Girl on perfumes. Okay, I'm in love, in love with 
the Rogue Noir perfume that I have. I'm in love with it. This is a new one. I was at Nordstrom today and I picked it up. And this is his Aqua Allegoria. Is it Tijera? Tijera? It smells so good. It smells, um, you would think that it would probably be a lighter smell, more of a, um, I would say more of a fresh, cleaner smell, but just by looking at it, it looks like it would be maybe a fresh smell, but it actually has more of a, more body to it than that. It's, um, not really a magnolia smell, but something similar, like there's, there's some body to it, like some heavy, a little bit of heaviness. Um, you could, it smells so good though. And I'm really not sure uh, about the notes and stuff, but it's beautiful. The bottle is gorgeous. I'm in love with it. And then one of my favorite perfumes ever, La Petite Robe Noir. I love the little Guerlain tab right there uh, wrapped around the lid. It's a really pretty bottle. It's got a little dress on the back. This is beautiful. This is my going out special occasion perfume. Definitely. Going shopping perfume. This is special occasion. I want to feel pretty perfume. I love this perfume so much. I can't describe it. And I was actually in Sephora today and I noticed that they don't carry this anymore in the store. So if I need enough, if I have to, if I want to get another one, I have to order it online. So. I'm really, really wanting to get more Guerlain, um, Guerlain products. Actually in the mail I have, excuse me, I have the, um, no, I have there's like ball there's like Guerlain dust all over <laughs> this stuff now. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Guerlain dust. Yes, Guerlain dust everywhere because it smells good. Yeah, I'm silly. But uh what was I saying? Yeah, I've got the um the palette from the winter collection coming in the mail also. Those should be here Monday. That and the winter uh, meteorite should be her Monday and I will do a video next week and show you show you those I can't wait I'm so excited I can't wait and so that is my Guerlain collection I love Guerlain I want everything Guerlain I just I really it just never ends guys it never ends if you have any questions let me know any video suggestions let me know and I'm gonna go clean off my um my compacts here because they're a little meteorite dusty now. Have a good day, guys. Bye.